Oh, the view of Lindoso mm, from the hill crest. Charis of Rhodes lived in Lindos, the sculptor of the Colossus of Rhodes. <laughs> he lived in Lindos. And ever since, and it's been an, a, a haven for artists, expatriates from Europe, European painters, American writers, drifting hippies. Yeah. Battlemented Acropolis crowns the village on a hill built around an old temple of Athena, the Greek goddess of beauty. It's a national heritage village now. Great. Well, I hike through town and right through town and on the other side over another little hill crest to toward St. Nicholas Bay and my Ganesh cave. I'm anxious. Excited to witness my old hippie neighborhood <laughs> after 30 years away. In my memory, Mellow Bay of St. Nicholas, Agio Nicholas, uh, in Greek, is exclusively, it, it was a pristine, uninhabited nature. Nothing man made at all, you know. Uh, the bay comes into view. And the unfolding panorama ah, pierces my soul, devastated. The bay now features luxury villas and a what? luxury boutique hotel. Not that I am surprised. I'm, you know, because... Uh, Beginning in the 1980s, Lindos became the most trendy and exclusive village in Greece. For sure. Posh, jet-set enclave. We're talking Italian fashion designers, Pink Floyd uh, band members have homes here. Can't survive on that. Mm -hmm. Augio Nicolas degenerated. Wealthy overflow from Lindos. The story tale village of Lindos now attracts a half million tourists a year. Mass trash tourism, 200 buses a day from roads, choking this little picturesque Greek village. When I lived here, there was 400 people and donkeys braying in the morning and roosters crowing and no cars and you know, a couple buses a day. Oh, Manapami Huna, Manapami Huna. Oh, Manapami Huna, Manapami Huna, Manapami I regain my Buddhist composure. I am grateful to witness whatever is the new reality. I appreciate this unforeseen chance to explore my old contemporary Aegean Sea with my own eyes. I've been holding a time-frozen photograph in my heart of my Ganesh cave neighborhood for 30 years. <sighs> okay. I can now take refuge in the truth. I can now place that outdated photograph into my long-term memory album and turn over a new leaf. Hey! Wow, barking German Shepherd dog coming up the driveway of a of a fancy villa. <laughs> I go cross country. I used to go cross country. In fact, I I went 
cross country the cave. Sometimes I made my own trails, right? I can't find those anymore. Anyway, I I know the 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 typography <laughs> like on a microscope. So I make my way to the coastline, get away from all those. You know, there's probably like sixteen luxury villas. Oh, no. uh, I keep a low profile, silently walk away from the villas and to the rocky shoreline. And uh, along the shoreline, I pass two Greek guys building a stone wall by hand for <laughs> a second boutique hotel under construction. And ho oh, hum, how boring for them that I pass by. I'm a passersby. <laughs> They're not interested in me. An old man with a limp going nowhere, apparently. Must be lost, this guy. Such a. Uh, Total disinterested. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, and to my relief, these two Greek guys, the only people in the whole bay today. This is a large bay, you know, like maybe five kilometer sweep of shoreline. Mm -hmm. It's off season. The hotel is closed. There's nobody out here. Well, along the ho a coastline now, I follow the beach to Wild Horse Cove, which is the end of the beach. And then I ascend the cliff. There's a scree of loose rocks. <laughs> they haven't changed. <laughs> the scree is a scree. Don't try to alter a scree or you'll fall on your ass. Screes are slippery. Anyway, scoot up the scree. And then I connect to the wild goat tracks going horizontal across the peninsula. And this peninsula, like, uh, after my cave, it drops 90 meters. We're talking like three, uh, 90 meters times whatever. 300 feet. It drops straight into the uh, Aegean. Nobody can go anywhere. So this is a dead-end peninsula. It's no wonder nobody goes out there. It's one reason I picked it. I found the cave, you know. Um... And, <laughs> to my utter amazement, I get lost. I've lived here for years in my ear. I get lost? Um... I mean, in my 20s, I could find this cave in starlight alone, even on clouded overnights, moonless nights, I could get, you know, from Lindos to the cave. You know. And ups, oh, here I am at the massive stone arch. And that's when I realize I have climbed too high on the cliff too fast. So what to do now? <laughs>